So this vehicle, aside from transporting people, uh, it's designed for safety. So uh, to that effect, we have several different braking systems all on board that work together and they synchronize. And then we also have a LiDAR system. LiDAR, light detection and ranging, observes the environment using infrared lasers. They fire out and they hit an object and they measure how long it took to do that. Uh, using LiDAR, the vehicle can't miss objects. It will see everything around it and it will respond accordingly. So if it needs to slow down or stop because somebody runs out in front of it, even if they dart out in front of it just a couple mere feet, the vehicle will have no issues at all stopping or slowing. We have multiple planes, so we're seeing in three dimensions with these LiDAR sensors. And those sync up, like I said, with GPS, uh, with odometry, and all those things help this vehicle stay on a prescribed path. Um, observing everything around it up to hundreds of feet. All these things come together in a fusion, they synchronize, and when it does that, it tells the vehicle exactly where it is on the program route that we prescribe. So it won't go anywhere that it isn't told to go, and it will obey the, the route exactly how it's designed to and programmed to. I do believe this is safer than human drivers. Um, in Utah, the project that I am most familiar with, uh, one of our first sites was called Station Park, and it was an, an outdoor shopping center. There, we were operating right through some of the busiest sections of the parking lot. And in the six weeks that we operated there, we never had a single incident where this vehicle almost hit something or was a nuisance to other drivers. In fact, this made up for the human error. Uh, whenever we had a person back out of a stall without paying attention or somebody running through a four-way stop, this vehicle would make up for that error and it would stop or it would slow down and avoid the collision, whereas sometimes we as humans say we're going through that parking lot, we could be texting, we could be on a phone call, something like that. We shouldn't be, but it happens. Um, this vehicle does not have those distractions. Anytime that there's chaos all around, the vehicle is still observing its environment and it's still focused in on the environment and it's reacting to that in real time. So this won't ever get distracted. Uh, if there's an issue where one of the one of the sensors is saying something that doesn't agree with another one, it'll slow down and stop. So it, it will absolutely avoid collisions or, or moments where there could be some conflict. Yes. So one of the aspects of the vehicle and the technology that I most appreciate is the access and affordability it gives the disabled and the elderly community transportation. It, it has a ramp um, that you can easily access from the outside. You just hit a button and the ramp deploys on its own and then the vehicle will kneel for you. You can come up into the vehicle and then there are also anchors. So if you're in a wheelchair, this will be able to help you out without any other assistance from other people. So in Utah, one of my favorite sites was the Center for the Blind and Visually Impaired. And at that site, we were assisting that community specifically, taking them from a train station about a third of a mile away from the Center for the Blind and bringing them the rest of the way to the center. So in my experience, people really enjoy the novelty of it at first glance. You see it, uh, it has European influences inside and out. And then once you actually ride it, that's when people understand how incredible this technology is and how um, further in transportation technology we really are than we understood. The vehicle, it drives incredibly smooth. Um, the whole route is programmed and then it's tested and we ensure that the ride will be smooth. Uh, and then typically at the end of the ride, People say, wow, that drives just like I do through a parking lot. Sometimes it drives a little bit better than people do through parking lots. People enjoy it and they can also, once you've rode the vehicle, they can envision other areas where it would come into effect and where it would be beneficial. So a lot of people uh, think that the technology on an autonomous vehicle is really far out there, but actually all, a lot of new cars today already have some of this technology and many of us have already used it. A couple examples are the backup camera, so it tells you when somebody is behind you, so it perceives that there's someone there and it tells you to stop. Another one is like blind spot assistance, so that technology assists you to understand if somebody is in you know, where you wanna go. Um, and then this vehicle has many of the similar things on it, but then even more. Uh, it has things like LiDAR, a uh, special uh, GPS system, it has more cameras, more radar, and then it brings all that technology together and it makes it autonomous so that it can really 
uh, react when something's happening in its surroundings. Because it's a pilot project, we spent a lot of time understanding the route that the vehicle is going to be on. Um, and we wanted to make sure that on that route was challenging enough that we could test some of the features of the vehicle. And one of those features is how the vehicle may cross a very busy intersection. Um, so we've kind of augmented the safety around that intersection. So one of the things we've done is it's called transit signal priority. And what it does is the vehicle uh, picks up the signal timing for the light right and then communicates back to the the light and says i'm coming through the light extend the green light so it extends the green light a little bit and that way the vehicle has a little extra time to get through the intersection enhancing the safety um, of this testing route that we're actually doing what does autonomous electric vehicles bring to our community um, so it, it allows transit to reach uh, further people in, in different areas uh, the fact that it's electric reduces local emissions. So there's a whole bunch of value things here that we as a stakeholder, um, you know, kind of help bring that better future uh, to your community. I think people will love it. It's a, it's a very welcoming uh, vehicle. It, it looks great. It, it's, uh, it looks modern and it's, I think it's exciting. I'm excited and I hope people will be excited for it too.